children, I'm here once again to take you through science lesson two. I believe you know my name. I'm Miss Irene Wama. I'm going to take you through basic two science lesson. And this is going to be our second lesson. What are we going to do today? Today we are going to talk about the structure of animals. So we are still in diversity of matter, but we are going to talk specifically on the structure of animals. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the different parts that will make up the structure of an animal in your environment. You should also be able to define what an animal is. And then finally, you give examples of animals you have in your locality. Okay, children, in our previous lesson, we looked at the structure of plants. That is the same thing you are going to do for animals. What are some of the structures, uh, the parts we have for plants? The roots, the stem, the leaves, the flower, and the fruits. Okay. Before we continue with today's lesson, let's look at our keywords. So our first keyword today is trunk. Trunk. Trunk is the central part of anything. I know certain animals have trunks. Trunks like the elephant, the trunk of an elephant. That is also another explanation. But the one that I'm going to use today is the middle part or the central part of anything. But that anything is going to be an animal. Okay, our second keyword is hind. Hind. What does it mean? Part of something that follows or that is behind. Part of something that follows or that is behind. So we are going to look at the hind part of an animal. Limbs. Limbs. Limbs simply means the leg or the arm of an animal. Human beings also have limbs. So anything that facilitates your movement is your limb. Then the last one is four. When we say four, something that is what? Something that occupies the front position. The front position. Okay, children, what are the various parts that will form the structure of an animal? Look at the animal on your screen very carefully. What animal is that? It's a dog. A very nice dog. I love dogs. You also love dogs? Yes, I have a dog as a pet. Now let's look at the basic structure of this dog, the parts. Look at the first arrow. Where is it pointing to? The head. The head. So the head forms one part of the what? Of the structure. Look at the, uh, the right hand side. It's pointing to the what? The middle part of the animal. And how do we say we are going to call it? trunk. That is the trunk of the animal. Now, when you move to the left hand side downwards, the left hand side, you will see another arrow pointing to two things. That is the what? The limb. The limb. It's known as the what? The forehind. The forehind. And then, the one that is behind it is known as the what? The hand. The two legs that is behind is known as the what? The hand. So it has what? Three main parts. The head, the trunk, and the limbs. The limbs are divided into two. The what? The four hand, and then the what? The four limbs. Okay, children. What are the parts that we see, we can see on this part, the, or on these structures? 
When you look at the head, what can you see? The head consists of the what? The eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the ear. Okay, let's move to the what? The trunk. The trunk is the middle part of the what? Animal. That is where most of the internal organs are what? Are kept. Okay. Now let's look at the limbs. The limbs are the legs for most animals. In the case of animals with four legs, the front legs are called the what? The four limbs, which I've already talked about. And then the back legs are called the hind limbs. The front, the four limbs, and then the back is the hind limbs. So the limbs are used for what? Movement, such as walking, running, jumping, or even swimming. So the trunk is the what? Is the rest of the body of the animal. So the rest of the body of the animal is known as the trunk. Okay, now let's look at some examples of animals that we can have in our environment. The examples can be grouped in different forms. We can have them as what? As mammals. We have them as reptiles. Have them as birds, fishes, insects. But when you look at the insect very critically, the insect also have special parts. It doesn't follow the normal parts that we talked about. So the insect also has its own structure. Look at that picture very carefully. It's an example of an insect showing the various parts forming its structure. So of course, it also has a what? A head. But the middle part is known as the, the thorax. And then the final part is the abdomen. Very good. So we've looked at some examples of animals. So mammals, you can have dog, cow, goat. For birds, you have so many birds. Parrot, eagle, and many others. For fishes, salmon, tilapia, and the rest. Reptiles, we have what? Snake, lizards. Okay, let's look at the definition. The definition of animal. That is our final part. When somebody asks you what an animal is, what can you say? So an animal is any living creature that moves about to find food, water, playmate, shelter, for comfort. So I'm taking it again, the definition for animal. An animal is anything or any living creature that moves about to find food, water, playmate, and shelter for comfort. Very good. So we've come to the end of our lesson. What have you learned today? We've looked at the various parts that form the structure of an animal. What are the parts? The head, the trunk, and the limbs. We said the limbs are divided into two. The fore limbs and the hind limb. We also looked at what? The various parts that you can see on the what? On the structure. We define animal. We also look at examples of animals according to their groups. And we said insect has a special word, a special structure on its own, known as the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. We will meet on a Zoom meeting for us to have an interactive lesson on this lesson too. Until then, stay safe and be good children. Bye-bye.